Hello there guys, welcome back to another Epic Inexorable Maths video. In this video, we're doing something very cool. We're going to derive what I like to call the quintuple angle formulae for cos. Okay, so we want to prove that cos of 5 theta is 16 cos to the 5 theta minus 20 cos to the 3 theta plus 5 cos theta. So if you know about the double angle formulae or something like that, this is the quintuple angle formulae. And um, this is actually a question out of an A-level further maths textbook, but not that that's too important if you don't do A-level further maths, but it's still a really cool question nonetheless. So um, it says to use De Marvra's theorem, um, which uh, we're going to go through right now. Uh, but this is a really good example of using complex numbers to actually do something that has nothing to do with complex numbers, right? There's no complex numbers in this formula, but we're going to use them nonetheless to prove this. So this is how we're going to do it, okay? We're going to start off by looking at uh, cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of, and I'm going to choose the number five, okay? I'm gonna choose the number five for this. Um, and that's because when I use De Marvra's theorem, I will have a cos five theta plus I sine five theta, okay? So this can be kind of expanded in two different ways. First of all, again, we can use De Marvra's theorem to rewrite this as cos five theta plus i times sine five theta. Okay, fine. But also, this is a binomial. It's cos theta plus i sine theta, uh, i sine theta to the power of five. So it's a binomial and we can use the binomial expansion on it, okay? So using the binomial expansion, this would be cos to the five theta, plus, and I'm going to come back around and actually simplify this, but just using the formula, 5 choose 1 times cos to the 4 theta times i sine theta. The next term would be 5 choose 2 cos to the 3 theta times, and we have to be a bit careful, i, I sine theta squared and we're just going to keep going with this okay so it's slightly tedious i know but the next term would be five choose three times cos squared theta times i sine theta cubed the next term just using the pattern of the binomial expansion it would be five choose four cos theta i sine theta to the four and the final term would be five choose five which is one cos to the zero is one i sine theta to the five okay cool and then we're going to come back and simplify all of these terms and you're going to see how this works in a second because at the moment again we have two different versions of the same thing you might say what's the point because remember we used the marvelous theorem up here are we going to use that again yes we are yes we are but let's get to that in a moment so cos to the 5, that's not really going to simplify. So cos to the 5 is cos to the 5. 5 choose 1 is 5. So we have plus 5 cos theta sine theta times i. Okay, times i. All right, 5 choose 2 is 10. And also when we square the i sine theta, i squared is of course minus one. So we're gonna have minus 10 times cos cubed theta sine squared theta. Okay, next one. Five choose three is 15. Uh, or is it 10 again? It's 10 again. It's 10. It's 10. 5 choose 3 is 10. And when we cube i, i cubed, that will give us minus i. So we're going to have minus 10 cos squared theta sine cubed theta times i. Okay. Next term. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. 5 choose 4 is uh, 5 again. So we're going to have i to the 4, that's the number 1, so just plus 5 
cos theta, again, i to the 4 is the number 1, sine to the 4. Finally, i to the 5 is i, so i times sine to the 5 theta, so sine to the 5 theta times i. Okay, now you might say, why did we do all of that? Why did we do all of that? Well, guys, here's the thing. We know now that cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 5 can be written in two ways. One, cos 5 theta plus i sine 5 theta, and two, using that whole binomial expansion, having all of those terms. Okay, There are two ways of writing the same thing. So the De Moivre's theorem way and the binomial expansion way are equal to each other. Now, this up here is a, imag or it's a complex number. It consists of a real and an imaginary number as does this really long thing here as well. It consists of a real part and an imaginary component as well. So because they're equal, the real parts are equal and the imaginary parts are equal as well. So because we're only looking for cos of five theta at the moment, you could also look for sine of five theta if you wanted to, but we're just looking for cos of five theta right now. We just say that the real parts of both versions are equal. So in other words, cos of 5 theta is all of the real parts of the binomial. So the first real term was cos to the 5 theta. Now the next term here, this is not real because it has an i in it, so we ignore it. The next term is real. So that's minus 10 cos cubed theta sine squared theta. Okay. Now, again, the next term here, this term is not real. It's imaginary, so we ignore it. And the final real term is 5 cos theta sine to the 4 theta, like that. And again, the very, very last term is also imaginary, so we ignore it. Okay, so now we have just this. And hopefully, we can agree this looks actually pretty good, right? It looks pretty good. Cos 5 theta is all of that. Now, this is not the same as what we've been asked to show because preferably, if we're going to do the quintuple angle formula for something like cos, I only want it to be in terms of cos. I don't want it to have coses and sines in it. Let's just have coses. So the last two terms, they both have sines in them, sine squared and sine to the four. But guys, remember, we have this identity that says, and hopefully this is legible, I'm actually I'm doing it in like yellow so it's a bit easier to see, but there is an identity that says that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is actually the number one, which means that I can replace sine squared theta with one minus cos squared theta. This is a pretty common thing to do just generally in maths, anything to do with trigonometry, pretty common to do this. So it's good to know that. Um, and yeah, we're just going to do it. So cos of 5 theta is identical to cos to the power of 5 theta minus 10 cos cubed theta. This is all the same so far. But then sine squared, I'm going to rewrite that as 1 minus cos squared. So now I'm just going to have coses there. And then I'm going to go next term plus 5 cos theta. And then sine to the 4. Well, sine to the 4 is sine squared squared. So I'm going to write this as 1 minus cos squared theta. That's sine squared, but then that needs to be squared as well. Okay, that means, and I know that this is slightly tedious, but cos 5 theta is cos to the 5 theta. And then expanding this out, we would have minus 10 cos cubed theta um, plus 10 cos to the 5 theta. Okay, just expanding. And then this last term is going to be a bit trickier to expand out, so let's do it in two, uh, two lines. 5 cos theta times by, and then expanding this out, we have 1 minus 2 cos squared theta uh, plus cos to the 4 theta. Okay, and that term there, if we... Uh, well, we can slightly simplify all of it, actually. So let's, yeah, let's um, do that now. We have cos 5 theta is. How many cos to the 5s are there? I'm going to zoom in slightly just so it's a bit easier to see because I do appreciate everything's a bit far away. We have cos to the 5 
and then we have 10 cos to the 5. So that's going to be uh, 11 cos to the 5 so far. Minus 10 cos cubed. Again, pretty good so far. And then what do we have here? Well, we have 5 cos theta minus 10 cos cubed theta plus 5 cos to the 5 theta okay and then all we have to do guys is just round up the very very last uh few terms that need to be combined the like terms and we are good to go so we have the cos to the 5 theta is, well, we have 11 cos to the 5, and then later on we have 5 cos to the 5. That gives us 16 cos to the power of 5. And then minus 10 cos cubed, minus 10 cos cubed, that's minus 20 cos cubed. And then the final term is just plus 5 cos theta there we go so this is an a level further maths question in the textbook it says that it's worth five marks i think that seems pretty reasonable cos five theta is actually 16 cos to the five theta minus 20 cos to the three theta plus five cos theta as we can see if i just zoom in over there that is exactly what they asked us to prove we used the marvelous theorem this is how you do it so um guys let me know if you want to see more videos on a level further maths content because i haven't made much that's explicitly a level further maths and also let me know how you guys feel about the background being black instead of white please let me know also let me know if you like the uh, videos where i use a physical blackboard or if you prefer the videos that i'm making now where i'm back on my computer because back in the day i used to be on my computer here i am again i'm just testing it out i've not committed to it but uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments if you've made it this far and as always thank you so much for watching i highly appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one cheers